So, so here we were looking at, at calls that just came up uh, a few hours ago and they are a surprise to us. We have to move on to the next. That's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm Hans Christian, a geophysicist on board the Joyce Resolution uh, in the South China Sea on Expedition 368. It's a story about uh, how Earth developed and, uh, and that is so interesting. Also now when we're drilling here we see every layer we get is kind of like turning a page in a book. So what we see at this table here is um, the scientists are putting up small flags, if you wish, to tell here I want a sample for particular purposes. So we, we are here to understand why these lavas were here, a continent breaking apart and the Earth's mantle becoming available and eventually the continent is splitting apart and a new ocean is forming. 1993 was the first time I, I sailed on the ship and already two years after, in 95, we were back on the drill ship. And that area is very challenging. And we got started and got some very good results, but then we got this monster storm. Because it was so strong and it lasted for something like 40 hours or more. So the sea was able to build up monster waves. I mean, they were literally 20, 25 meters high, coming over the bridge, going through the windows into the bridge. Water, I mean, I woke up in my cabin with water in the cabin. What happened was that people sort of started being very silent. They were just sitting together, small groups, and mentally holding hands, just waiting for the ship to go down. They were very happy to be back alive. This time in the South China Sea is so much more relaxing. Okay, so let's see what... Oh, roasted beef tenderloin. Yes, Peter. Oh, yes, please. Uh, roasted beef, please. Corn. The broccoli. That should keep me busy for a while. Thank you. My wife told me to eat a lot of green stuff to stay healthy, so... I, li I like to get that documented. So let's go outside and enjoy the great weather. That's a quiet place, it's a bit windy, but that's very good, otherwise it will be too hot. So I really enjoy the meals outdoor here. In Denmark you can have your meal outside maybe six months a year in the summertime, but not every day. Well, I was 67 last year, so I will become 68 later this year. So when I started to work after my early retirement uh, four or five years ago, I started to work in China and I saw the data we have here. So, well, this is a great place to do exactly the kind of studies I like to do. Good morning. So where are we today? 846.8 meters. So let's take a look at the core. So this is the uh, deepest core we've got. Yeah, 21. And it has some very interesting features, I think. Um, you told me that this is uh, a pillow basalt. Yeah. Now that, that's just beautiful. It's very rare if you are a really so. interested scientist, it's like a, it, it's like a, a treasure hunt, if you wish. It comes in very solid okay. and a little bit more fresh pieces here, so we are very pleased that this is the end of this site. We are sure we got really good material, so we have to move on to the next. The goal of the exposition is not to prove, but to test, test if it's right or wrong. And we have proven it's wrong. So what, what's the argument for sampling? That people should not be, uh, feel bad that we have tested it wrong. 
we should be happy that we got conclusive results so we can say this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Because this is a very, really precious material, so we only want to do it every 12 hours when we know enough and both parties agree that this is priority. But it may take time for people to understand that it is different and it's a very big success to show it's different. Okay. I think I will go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good night.